Director David Fincher is one of the more well-known American directors working in cinema today. Starting as a director of various music videos for the music agency Propaganda Films, Fincher eventually made the move to cinema. He is the director of such films as Gone Girl, his most recent work, The Social Network, Seven, Zodiac, Fight Club, and The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. He has a unique and distinct visual language that could be parsed out through repeated viewings. Those films in particular really highlight his unique visual style. Throughout most of his films, and all of his more recent ones, Fincher has maintained a sort of washed-out aesthetic. Similar to Christopher Nolan, Fincher takes full advantage of cool colors and meticulously placed sets. This came about after his work on the film Seven, where he and his cinematographer used a chemical process on the film stock known as bleach bypass. What this does is that it essentially darkens the film stock, and it darkens the shadowy images portrayed on the screen. And this adds to Seven's, in particular, rough, gritty, neo-noir style of filmmaking. Often there's stark contrast of lighting within a scene, an aesthetic that borders on expressionism, Fincher often avoids extreme close-ups, usually allowing the character in the screen to take up only a small amount of space within the frame. The films that he directs often deal with the theme of obsession, and these frame shots often serve to swallow the character whole, which may, from an analysis standpoint, echo their internal state of mind. Fincher often employs a stable camera, Unlike directors such as J.J. Abrams and Quentin Tarantino, for one, Fincher presents the action, and the camera does not act as a character in itself. David Fincher is an acclaimed director. He won an Emmy for Best Director in a Dramatic Television Series for his work on the season one premiere of House of Cards, a show for which he is the executive producer. He also was nominated twice for Best Director for The Curious Case of Benjamin Button and The Social Network, and is in my opinion, one of the greatest living directors today.